In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Mediterranean or Medimore. As the name implies it comes from the Mediterranean where you need to have vessels berthing stern to the quay. Maybe because there's limited space and lots of vessels wanting to dock or it could be because you're on a cargo vessel with only a stern ramp for access. Either way the Medimore allows you to berth stern to the quay potentially with lots of other vessels close by. So how do you do a Medimore? As with everything when it comes to manoeuvring, the first thing is to scope out the area. You want to know your berthing position, your anchor drop position, or even a buoy pickup location if you're picking up a buoy instead of an anchor. And you also need the direction of the wind and current and anything else that's going to be acting on you. Then you want to run an imaginary line from your berth through your anchor drop position and keep going straight out. You're going to want to line yourself up along that line and start moving astern, aiming through your anchor drop position onto your berth. Your transverse thrust, any weather and tide are all going to be acting against your vessel at this point, so this is when you really need to take account of it. If you've got it wrong, you should know before you reach your anchor drop position, so it gives you a chance to run ahead, come around and have another go. Once you've got it right though, you want to keep moving astern. As you move through your anchor drop position, you're going to let go the weather anchor, so the anchor in the direction that the wind is coming from. Let the cable pay out though as you continue to move astern. You've got everything balanced at this point, so don't go and ruin it by snubbing on the anchor or something. Just keep that chain flowing away from your vessel. Keep moving astern until you get closer to the berth. And as you do get in, you can then start to take up a little bit of weight on the anchor. This is going to pull your bow round if you're out of line a little bit, and it's going to take some of your stern weight off. No matter what you do though, don't take off all your stern weight. You need to keep your vessel moving. As you get close enough to run some lines to the quay, send them. You want to send your weather lines first. That could be from the quarter that the weather's coming from, or it could be from your lee quarter if you're going to be crossing your lines at the stern. Either way, you want that first line to be able to hold your stern up into the wind. As you get almost right into position, give yourself a little kick ahead on the engine, and that's going to take off the last of your stern weight, because now you can take in weight on the stern lines and use those to just pull you that last little bit in. At this point, you might want to heave on your anchor a little bit just to take up the weight and keep your bow pointing in the correct direction. You can then just go around and check your anchor cable and your lines are nice and tight, and hopefully your vessel will just sit there quite happily. When it comes to getting away from a Medimore, well, this is one of the advantages of it. You're already pointing out into safe water. You simply ease on your stern line, so you probably want to recover the line going to the lee side because the weather line's going to hold you up, then recover that last line. Your anchor cable then, if it's still got weight in it, is naturally going to pull you out of your berthing position. Just keep drifting forwards, heaving on your anchor cable until you've recovered your anchor completely, at which point you're good to go. So that sounds relatively simple, but with the Medimore, there are a few things you want to watch out for. Firstly, it's only going to work when there's very minimal tide. So it works in the Mediterranean because there's almost no tide there. If you get a lot of tidal flow, either during the manoeuvre or while you're sitting alongside, it's not going to work. Next, watch out for the wind and weather. Line out further out if you really need to get a feel for it. That wind and weather, as you're moving astern, they're really going to have an impact. Of course, if you're coming in with other vessels around as well, you need to watch out for other anchors. A lot of boats will anchor with one, some might anchor with two, so just take account of those when you're getting a scope of the lay of the land and try to make sure your anchor's not going to get tangled up with any of theirs. The other thing, of course, as we're going to be running astern, is the transverse thrust is really going to have an impact. Make sure you're aware of it. Practice in other areas where you've not got a tight berth to manoeuvre into. Get used to which way your vessel's going to go. And just account for the transverse thrust when you're coming in, probably approaching at a bit of an angle. Then the final thing with the Medimore is just make sure you've got a bit of a get out plan. This is why I line up further out if there's space. It makes it easy to go around if I've misjudged the wind or the tide, and I know that before I've even dropped the anchor, so I don't need to go and recover the anchor and have another crack at it. So give yourself that get out plan so you can practice and you can get it right and you can make it really look professional. And that was the Mediterranean or Medi More. It's one of the hardest manoeuvres to do, simply because going astern on any sort of vessel is hard work. Hopefully though, this has given you a bit of an insight into it, so you kind of know what's involved if you ever need to do it yourself. 
For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you have any other videos you want me to make, leave me a comment. I try to read them all, but I do have a lot between all my channels. To be certain though, why not consider joining the casual navigation community, where you can message me directly and get access to a whole load of bonus content. There's a link in the description if you want to come and check it out. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.